Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest tonight is, well, the biggest star we've ever had on the show, and I'm sure he's very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so try to be nice, all right? He's best known for originating the role of Richie Roma in David Mammoth's play, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. And since then, he starred in movies such as House of Games, Alice, Searching for Bobby Fischer, and Up Close and Personal, as well as Godfather 3. His new movie, Jerry and Tom, opens tomorrow in Toronto and across the country in January. Please welcome Joe Montaigne. <laughs> Pleasure to have you here. Thanks, my pleasure. Thank you very much for coming by. Uh, you've, uh, you've got the new uh, movie opening tomorrow here in Toronto, right. Jerry and Tom. Happened to see it this week. I thought it was great. Thank you. Some very, very funny thank scenes. You, thank you. We actually shot that entire movie right here in Toronto. Oh, did you really? Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And, uh, what section of town was that in so we can avoid it? It looked yeah, very, uh, yeah. very grungy. It was actually all over the place. Really? Yeah, we were all over the all place. Right. You didn't have that problem they always have in Toronto where you mess up a street and the city comes along and cleans it up 15 minutes later? You know, I've, 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 that has happened to me once. Yeah, I, I yeah. do remember. We were doing a movie and, and they tried to make it look a little like New York. Right. And they'd put all the garbage out and stuff like that mm -hmm. in the streets to make it look... And about 10 minutes later, they did come and cleaning it all up. But <laughs> no, well, that's, that's okay. I appreciate it. Now, that. you were also the executive producer on uh, that film. Yeah, I, uh, it was actually, and it's directed by a Canadian, uh, Saul Rubinick, who, mm -hmm. uh, who directed it, and he, uh, yeah. <laughs> did a great job. And uh, they first came to me, it was a, pl it was a play, and they'd right. they thought it would make a good movie, and I, I helped them in terms of uh, working with him and the writer, you know, adapting it into a movie, and getting called in some favors from some friends in the cast, they have a wonderful cast, with William H. Macy, and Peter Riegert, and uh, Ted Danson, and Charlie Durning, and... And we made the movie, and it's, it's, it's worked out really well. We were at Sundance Film Festival with it last year, and it's, mm -hmm. it did very well. And now we're opening here in uh, Canada tomorrow, tomorrow evening. One of the things I enjoy most in a comedy is when you put Charles Durning in a dark wig in the hopes that he'll look 30. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, always, yeah, that that always <laughs> cracks me up. <laughs> you don't spend a lot of money on makeup with Charles Durning. <laughs> I love that kind of thing. Right, right. Now, you brought a clip of the film with you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think, I think this is a clip where we're... Um, Jerry uh, and I are having a discussion about, um, about actually about Ronald Reagan, I think. Okay. So we'll see. <laughs> really, uh, I really like the performance of that kid uh, playing Opsy. Yeah, there. that's Sam Rockwell, who's a, just a wonderful, wonderful actor. He's got a big. He's actually uh, in the. He's also in the film uh, Celebrity, which. The f uh, current film that I have out, the new Woody Allen film, he's in that as well, and he's a wonderful actor. He puts me in mind of a young Dana Carvey. Yeah, he does have that kind of look. Yeah. And now, do you intend to do any more producing, or is this... Uh... Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, after having been in the business as long as I have, I'm, I enjoy now the ability to not only act in the movies, but to try to get involved in working on the script and try and get the different people involved. You know, you meet a lot of people over the course mm -hmm. of, you know, 30 years in this business, so... Yeah, it's it's kind of a way of you know doing just a little bit more, and it's and it's it's interesting. I now, as as the producer, when you when you you know you have problems, you you come in, there's all kinds of things that you wouldn't normally have to deal with as an actor. Right. Have you ever, as a producer, found yourself lacking as the lead, taking yourself into the trailer and had a little word with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah you I've been known to of slap of a few people around, but yeah. you know what I mean. It's a, no, yeah. no, it's that's what you have an assistant producer for. Right. You know, they take care of all of that. Yeah. Now, you also uh, won a Tony Award for Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross on Broadway. Mm -hmm. May I ask you a question? Because yeah. I've seen the movie Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, but I've never seen the play. Right. Because, uh, while well, the chances of it coming to the Royal Alex at this time are pretty <laughs> slim. But uh, who, who played the role that uh, Alec Baldwin played in the movie and the play? Actually, that character didn't exist in the play. Okay, in other words, so they just talked about him in the play. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's how much clout Alec Baldwin has. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they just kind of created the role for him. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, what, what, uh, all the roles you've done, and my, well, I, may I tell you what my particular favorite is with you? Sure. The movie you did with Don Amici, Things Change. Right. Oh, that's, yeah. that was one, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm sure you... Uh, I'm sure you have your own particular favorite, and you and I could get into a big argument, but you're not yeah. going to change my mind. Yeah, okay. Actually, I, I have a lot of... You know, one character that's actually very popular uh, here in Canada is uh, 
the character when I play Fat Tony on The Simpsons. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tony seems to have a pretty good following up here, yeah. So, uh, so I, I enjoy doing that a lot. He's the owner of the Legitimate Businessmen's yes, Club? Yes, he's the Legitimate yeah. Businessmen's yeah. Club, exactly. <laughs> Do you enjoy doing this? You've done it four or five times, haven't you? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I enjoy it very much. I mean, it's a wonderful group of people, and, uh, and it's, the quality of it is just terrific. The writing has always been consistently great, and, uh, and, uh, and they have terrific jackets. They have great, <laughs> great jackets. <laughs> now you're up here now doing a film. Yeah, we just uh, did rehearsal right now. We start shooting next week on a film called Small Vices. Mm -hmm. It'll be a, uh, based on Robert Parker book, who's actually one of my favorite writers. And, um, and, uh, yeah, I, I always love coming up to Toronto. I really do. It's about my sixth or seventh film up here, and it's, it's a great place to work. So the film is called Small Vices? Small Vices, yeah. yeah. That's why it's in Canada, of course, Small Vices. <laughs> now, uh, you're in Canada. We're not in the U.S. right now. Why don't you tell us how the film ends? <laughs> <laughs> well, the good guy wins, and I'm the good guy, so uh, everything's all right. The, good guy the world is one? good, yes. I'm good. the good guy in this one. Good. Right. I live at the end of this one. All right. Now, do you, did, you think, uh, did you think that uh, acting was going to go this well for you when you started? Well, you, you hope. You know, you hope. But I mean, I remember, actually, right before I did the play Glengarry, which was a kind of a turning point for me about 15 years ago, the, the, the thing I was doing right before that, I was working with a monkey. Uh, I was doing a show with an orangutan down in the States. It was a TV series called Mr. Smith. And I remember distinctly walking around the Paramount lot hand in hand with this chi uh, chimpanzee. And he was wearing a little hat and little short pants. And I'd walk around a lot with him to get used to him every morning. And I used to think, you know, my career is not panning out exactly <laughs> as I had hoped, you know. Right. And it was right. just like a month or two later that, that that happened. So sometimes, you know, things work out. Good. Well, it was a real pleasure to have you here today. My Thank pleasure. you very much for coming. Thanks, Mike. Joe Montagna, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for Jewel. Yeah.